guys, welcome back to Reptile South Africa. We have been asked what the different types of venom are that you find in snakes. The three venoms are hemotoxic venom, neurotoxic venom and cytotoxic venom. We have decided to create a video for you to give you insight into the different venoms and what they do. We'll be giving you a few visual examples of snakes that have the venoms described for a better understanding and knowledge. I hope you find this video informative and if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below or email us. What is the difference between poison and venom? Many people get confused between what poison and what venom is. Most understand that it is one and the same thing. However, this is not the case. Majority of snakes are not poisonous, they are venomous. A simple way to remember the difference is, venom is injected into you by fangs or a stinger. The venom therefore enters your bloodstream directly. Poison is absorbed into the system. So let's say if you touch something that is poisonous, the poison will be absorbed into your bloodstream. Hemotoxic venom destroys the red blood cells causing hemolysis which disrupts blood clotting. This venom also attacks cells and tissue causing tissue damage and organ failure. These bites are often painful but the venom effects may not begin for hours after and tissue damage will always occur. If a person gets bitten by a hemotoxic snake, they will always have bleeding from the nose, eyes and even the gums, brain and ears. In some cases, if you get bitten on the finger or toe, you could lose that body part. Death can result in untreated bites. With neurotoxic venom, the name neuro indicates nerves and therefore this venom attacks your nerves and nervous system. You will feel very little pain from the snake bite. Once a human has been bitten from a neurotoxic snake, paralysis occurs in the muscle which results in death due to your muscles not working in your system and it affects the respiratory system rapidly. Cytotoxic venom kills living cells in the human body. If a human gets bitten, severe organ failure symptoms occur, including bleeding, swelling and excruciating pain. Antivenom is a counter to the venom from the snake. Antivenom is produced by injecting small amounts of venom into horses and this venom causes the horses to produce antibodies. This blood with the now created antibodies are drawn from the horse and the antibodies are separated from the blood. This is the antivenom that is created to counteract the venoms mentioned throughout this video. Once you are bitten by a snake, it is very important upon arrival to a hospital that stocks antivenom to be able to explain the colour and length of the snake so that the proper antivenom can be used to treat the patient. Be as descriptive as possible in your identification of the snake to ensure the correct antivenom is used, otherwise the incorrect antivenom will cause more problems. Normally however, the doctors will also wait for symptoms before treating in case it was a dry bite. A dry bite means that the snake bit you but never injected its venom into your body. We must bear in mind that baby snakes are potentially more dangerous due to the fact that they cannot control the venom extraction, causing them to bite and releasing too much venom in one bite. More often than not, more venom will be injected compared to adult snakes. Some snakes can also contain two different venoms, for example, hemotoxin and neurotoxic venom, which makes the effects of that venom differ from species to species, in turn making such a snake more venomous. In conclusion, let us remember, there are other venoms, but these top three venoms explained in this video is most commonly found in snakes. We hope you enjoyed this video and look forward to sharing the next Reptile South Africa educational video with you.